Good morning. I just woke up not too long ago and I decided I'm going to do a self-care vlog today. So I'll have you follow along um, with my day and we'll see what kind of things come up that I can incorporate into this vlog for daily self-care. So, Angie, you want to say hi? Yeah. There you are. Oh, okay. He's a little camera shy. Don't mind him. So let's get started. Um, I wanted to start recording before I got into too much of my routine. So yes, I'll take you along. The first step is something that I already did off camera, but you want to smile at yourself in the mirror. This is your first act of self-love. So first up in today's video is skincare. Skincare is a beautiful form of self-care because caring for our bodies, including our faces, is really essential and caring for ourselves and pouring that love into ourselves and nurturing ourselves. So I use Numbajin. I think that's how you say it. It's a Korean skincare brand. Um, I'll leave the description, leave the links in the description below. They are actually from Amazon. It's like hard to get Korean skincare. So it's cool that you can get them on Amazon. I use, um, I really like this toner because it's got a ton of really good ingredients like fermented ingredients in here, which is really good for you. Don't ask me what all the ingredients are. I have no idea. I cannot remember, but I did so much research before starting using this and I've been using it for over a year now and I still love it. My face is super clear. Um, this is with no makeup on. I mean, I'll still get a blemish here and there, but very, very rarely. So I love it. And I'll use this serum, which I'm out of, so I'm really sad. I need to order some more. Luckily with Amazon, I get like two day shipping. So that's gonna be really fast. I just need to actually do it. And then um, I use a gua sha, which is this every day. So I will just run through that so you can see what it looks like. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in learning more about gua sha -ing and I don't know if that's the right word, uh, using gua sha and what the benefits are uh, and my personal routine. And then I use this moisturizer by the same brand. Um, this is their multivitamin cream. So I will top it all off with some sunscreen because I used to not use sunscreen because I don't burn. I guess with my ethnicity, I just have never had a sunburn before and I didn't think that I needed sunscreen. But it turns out that I could still raisin even though I'm Asian and I can still crack even though I'm black. So sunscreen. I'm also Mexican, so I don't know if there's a saying um, for Mexican. I can't really think of one. I just know Asian don't raisin and black don't crack, but I do not know one for Mexican. So if you do know, please tell me so that I can start saying that too, because it's just fun, why not? All right. First up, I'm gonna use a toner. This is the first step after washing, or if you're not washing in the morning like I don't, then you just damp your face a little bit and go right in with the toner. And then I'm gonna go in with serum. In the morning, I use their number two serum, which is nice and moisturizing. In the evening, I use number six, which is their sleeping, like deep sleep serum. This is gonna be great for your gua sha, which is the next step. Now that your face is moisturized, you just wet the gua sha and you're gonna do whatever moves you do. This is how I do mine. I can go more in depth in another video. But this is great for lymphatic drainage in your face, get some blood circulating. Uh, it also chisels you out. I noticed a huge difference in my jawline and my cheekbones ever since I started doing this. It also does help with the bags under my eyes as well. So I do this every morning. You can do it every morning and night, but I prefer just to do it in the mornings. And I use cold water while I'm doing it, it really helps to wake me up. Next, you're gonna moisturize. This is their number five moisturizer, but at nighttime I use number four, which is the anti-aging. And of course, you wanna use sunscreen every day before you go outside, even if it's not super sunny. Okay, so that was my skincare. Skincare is amazing. I 
do this routine every day and every night and never skip. I never go to sleep with my makeup on and it's a challenge sometimes, but you really have to push through and really do that for yourself. So that's the next step is makeup. I don't wear makeup every day. I have select off days, um, but I did start to incorporate putting on something. I started making it a daily practice to get ready. And for me, sometimes that means not wearing makeup, but doing my hair or putting on a cute outfit. But most of the time it means to do my quick five minute makeup routine just to feel ready for the day. Um, I notice that when I personally, this is personal, when I don't put any makeup on and I put on sweats, then it gives me the vibe that I'm relaxing all day. So it will make me pretty lazy to get like things that I need to get done. I'm not as eager to run my errands. And it's not because I don't like the way I look. It's just because I get in cozy mode. Like that's Netflix and chill all day mode. Um, I don't know what it is. It's something, something about the energy for me of getting ready. Um, even if, like I said, even if that's not wearing makeup, but putting on an outfit, even if the outfit is a cute matching sweat suit, if I really do want to be comfy, but just throwing on like a big baggy shirt and some sweatpants usually doesn't do it for me. Um, especially if I also don't have makeup on and I throw my hair in a ponytail like this. So that's my personal story. If that is how you feel too, like if that happens to you, let me know in the comments below so that I don't feel like <laughs> I'm the only one, but there's no way I'm the only one. So yes, um, let's get into this quick makeup routine that I do almost every day. I would say four or five days a week. And yeah, it's really fast. These are the products that I use. I'm not gonna go too much into my makeup routine, but I just wanna talk about how this is an act of self-care because you are being fully present with yourself really focusing on yourself. Uh, even if you are applying makeup to go somewhere, it is just the act of spending time with yourself in the mirror and being able to get creative with, with who you are and you know what you want your appearance to look like, which for some of us is the same as our normal selves. That's why I like to keep it really natural a lot of the times. But sometimes it is fun to just do something different. It's just about that creative expression. And this is something that I notice men don't really understand. I've had a lot of debates about this. Um, for men, it, it feels like an act of doing for other people. At least that is what the arguments that I've had is about. And this is not true because you are again focusing on yourself and just being present with yourself having fun with your creative expression here so really have fun with it if you're not a makeup person that's totally fine there are plenty of ways for you to creatively express yourself as long as you are finding ways to be creative because that is part of our feminine essence is our creativity so that could be finding an outfit to wear or expressing yourself through a form of art like dancing or playing music whatever speaks to you whatever it is that you do decide to do just find time to do it every single day even if it's just a few minutes like i said this only takes me five minutes i've mastered this routine from repetition so i can do this for five minutes and it's just that time that i get to spend with myself and like I said earlier, if it's going to be something like dancing, find five minutes in the morning to turn on a song and just jam out, get your energy flowing, get that creative energy flowing. But whatever you decide to do, just do it for yourself with intention. Okay, so my makeup's on. Now I'm going to make my bed. This is everything that I, I brushed my teeth already. But other than that, first thing when I wake up, I just get out of bed, wash my eyes, um, and then... I, I wash my face at night so I don't wash it again in the mornings. I want to dry it out. So I just wash my eyes out, wet my face down a little bit, and then get started right where we picked up uh, with the skincare and then the makeup. So that's so why I'm still in pajamas and everything. I will show you uh, what self care I do after that. Uh, coming right up. Just gotta clean this up a little bit. 
Starting your day with a completed task like making your bed sets a tone of achievement and organization first thing in the morning. It's a small act that can lead to a more productive day. Having a tidy environment also helps clear your mind, which can reduce stress and anxiety, which leads me to the next thing, which is doing a quick five minute meditation, longer if you have time, but just five minutes is enough to reduce your stress and anxiety. It also can enhance your focus and concentration through the day, as well as boost your mood and your emotional well-being. When you do it in the evening time, it can improve your sleep as well, and this is a great step for mindfulness and self-awareness. So definitely make sure to add this into your routine. Don't forget to add some light gentle stretches and kissing your loved ones, which for me is my fur baby. Next, I am boiling some hot water. It is really good to drink a warm drink in the morning because it helps stimulate your digestive system. And for today, I'm going to do a shot of apple cider vinegar. This is something I don't do every day, but every day I do have some form of water. So I'm going to do two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar with the mother. And I'm going to add some honey. Um, I like to do one teaspoon, sometimes half. If it's local honey, it'll help with your allergies as well. So that's a really good benefit. And then I'm going to add cinnamon, mostly to mask the smell of the apple cider vinegar, but it also has antioxidant properties and anti-inflammatory effects. So I add room temp water to make it drinkable, and that's it. Okay, now I am going to sip on this and answer some work emails on my computer. So that's what I usually do. Um, I don't look at my phone until this point right now. Usually I'll check my emails on my phone or my on my work laptop but this is when i would finally check if i have any text messages or anything like that so i try to disconnect from my phone for the morning until i get everything that i have to get done which is get myself together make the bed meditate and have my morning concoction i have different morning concoctions if you refuse to drink apple cider vinegar then uh, let me know if you want to see any other options. I have a couple of different things that I do. Honestly, sometimes just warm water is enough. So yeah, let me know if you have any any morning drinks that um, you know help get your your morning started. This really is good for your digestion. So uh, yeah, so hope you hopefully you give these things a try. And I'll be back after I get a little bit of work done. Okay, I finished up with work. I didn't have too much to answer to since it's Saturday. I just checked my email and then I checked my Instagram. And now I'm gonna take Kenji on a walk. So this is mostly for him, but also for me to be present. I'm not on my phone when I'm on the walk. I do bring it with me, of course, for emergencies, but I try to be present with nature, um, get my vitamin D intake in. And yeah, I'll take you for a little bit and then I'll put my phone away so I can enjoy the walk. After that, I'm going to clean. Um, cleaning is, I mean, obviously it's good to be clean, but it also can be healing if you practice a certain way. In Jay Shetty's book, Think Like a Monk, he explains how when he was a monk, he had to clean the temple and he thought about it as like cleaning out his heart and it started to feel more enjoyable to clean because he pretty much imagined that as he was cleaning, he was cleaning out his heart or think about cleaning your body as you're cleaning your space um, because it's all connected. I mean, if this is your space, then yeah, you want it to be clean and reflect your inter your inner world also being cleaned up. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get those things done and we'll see where the day takes me. I don't have a whole lot going on today, which is why I thought this was a great day to do a vlog. Um, because you know, it's just the things in the morning, some things that you can do throughout your day. Like if you're at work, um, you can, you know, stop and take a few breaths or go on a little walk. You know, these are just things that of course, on a smaller scale, um, you can incorporate into everyday life. So yeah, we're gonna get this stuff done and then we're gonna see what happens the rest of the day. All right, I'm nice and cozy, ready to go. 
make sure whether you have an animal or not you take a walk outside not only are you getting your vitamin d which is an essential nutrient you're also going to improve your cardiovascular health uh, strengthen your heart improve your blood circulation and you're going to enhance your mental health especially when you're out in nature so this is a really important step up next we all know the importance of eating a nice healthy meal i am making a nice bean dip avocado toast um, you can see what i'm doing here i actually got this recipe from another youtuber i'll link in the description so you can find the video on do it yourself but the importance of cooking your own meals especially healthy meals with lots of plants is going to be one of the nutritional benefits obviously you know that when you have control over the ingredients then you can make your meals way fresher next is your mental health and stress relief because cooking can be very therapeutic and it allows you to kind of unwind and relax and be a part of the experience of what you're putting in your body it's also going to help promote mindful eating because you are involved in the preparation of the food so you're more likely to savor and appreciate it and it'll be a lot easier for you to have a positive relationship with your food when you prepare it okay i made some breakfast so i'm about to eat this and then i'll start cleaning i forgot that i have to eat before i get busy because then i won't do it so cheers this is um some it's a fancy take on avocado toast we have like a chipotle bean spread avocados some green onion um corn and chili flakes so good oh my god remember it is super important to establish manageable self-care routines small acts like making your bed in the morning will have a huge impact on your mental and physical well-being these small habits that we're doing today can boost your mood increase productivity and improve your overall health including the relationship with yourself as you can see i uh, cared for my plants that is a way for me to tap into my feminine energy and nurture i also take care of my dog for the most part, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I like to light some candles and put on the fireplace app on Netflix when I come home in the evening so that I can set the mood. Um, in the bathroom, I light a candle and I brew some tea. And this is how I like to wind down in the evening. Comment down below your favorite evening routines. Okay, so as you can see, I've set the mood um got my light i'll put the link in the description for the light that i use i love this um floor lamp because i can choose the color adjust the brightness and i can control it from my phone which is amazing i use it every single day <laughs> it's the best um i've lit the candles and yeah now i would read a book if it's late i'm gonna read if it's still pretty early like you know, I had an easy day and maybe I finished everything I need to get done at like seven, then I probably would watch something on Netflix, like watch a movie or something. I love watching movies. So yeah, that would be a great option. But I have my phone set to tell me it's bedtime at 9.45. I went to the sleep settings. I set my bedtime reminder for 9.45, which is telling me to like wind down uh, to get to sleep by 10 o'clock. Do I really get to sleep by 10? No, but it does help a lot because it helps me start to realize that it's close to time. So that's when I'll, you know, finish up whatever I'm watching, um, grab my book, get in bed. And you know, that might require me to wash my makeup off, take a shower. I like taking evening showers, which also helps calm me. Um, get me ready for the evening. So setting a bedtime in your phone, if you have an iPhone, really will be helpful to just give you a little nudge like, hey, it's getting late. You should start, you know, winding down. If you are hungry, not eating anything heavy, nothing really like heavy in carbs, 
I would do like some yogurt. I actually have um, a vegan like coconut yogurt that I'm going to try out because I want to see how my body does without dairy. So I would do some of that vegan yogurt. Um, it's actually high protein too. I think the brand is six and I have some frozen cherries that are in my freezer. I also have fresh strawberries, so I could choose, I can mix them up, but fruit, yogurt, maybe a drizzle of honey, like nothing crazy, nothing too um, processed and artificially sweetened. So if you need a evening snack, something like that would be better to help you continue to wind down because if you eat something heavy, then your body's gonna start going to work to digest all of that. And that's not helping your body wind down for sleep, especially if you um, wanna get some good sleep, get the deep sleep, you know, get to the REM state, all the things. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some ideas of how you can incorporate self-care. Of course, there are a lot more elaborate things, like you could take a nice bath, you can go get your nails done or go get a massage, but this was things to do at home, really simple, easy, like you can always have a book with you. Um, I also have a Kindle and I also do audiobooks. So I always am available for books. Um, I have, can you see? No, you can't see it. I have a Google Home, which I play music from um, while I'm cleaning. So I was listening to music while I was cleaning. As you saw on Netflix, they have a fireplace. I love to use that while I'm working. So like if I'm working on content editing, and I just want that peaceful fireplace on in the background, then it's just really nice to get work done. So this was just to give you a couple of tips and tricks. If you have any that I might have missed or that you want to mention that you do, please put it below in the comments. I would love to inspire each other, like give me some more ideas of things to do. I would love that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one and hopefully this was helpful. So see you next time. Bye. All right. If you have an iPhone, you're going to open up the health app and then you're going to go to the sleep section. Here is where you can scroll down for your schedule. You can set the time that you want to go to bed and wake up and choose if you want to have an alarm or not. Then you also have access to your full schedule, which you can set daily. This is where you'll see the additional details of the wind down option. I choose 45 minutes ahead of my bedtime to start winding down. I'll get a notification. You then can click on your focus and this is where you can choose who can notify you in focus. I only let one person and no apps notify me when my phone is in sleep focus, which my phone goes automatically into when it's my bedtime. Here you can change your other focuses like your work focus where nobody can contact me when I'm in work mode. That's it. That's all.